Good day all my mateys and thank you for joining me in my cozy flat. My name is Rolex and I am best known for ruining my friend Regina's date. Now you must be asking yourself, why am I here? Well quite clearly, I'm here to ruin yet another date. Now, me best mate Daniel is also headed to his own date which I shall attempt to ruin. Well quite clearly, it all revolves around this one word one phrase, one belief. Hashtag Raniel. Now my antics to ruin Regina's date was quite basic and rather posh. And I believe that a man such as Daniel has a higher caliber and tolerance for such pettiness. Therefore, I must step up my plan in order to ruin his date in a way that's unlike any other. I'll start this off by thanking one of our commenters. This comment got me thinking about our last few videos that had come out and Melvin's recent focus on Raniel. I get that he wants them to be together. I even agree. They're a good couple, right? I think. But he shouldn't be forcing it and he shouldn't be trying trust eroding methods. I need to prepare. Once I was ready to begin investigating, I decided to call Melvin, but of course, no answer from him, only making me more suspicious. I couldn't call Daniel. What if he was on the date? I got on my computer, looked for any recent posts. Nothing. I know he's hiding. I decided to come up with a new plan, but I needed some space to think. Felt like somebody was watching me. Turns out I was right. My ultimate plan for ruining Daniel's date is to catfish him and dress up as his date. Now, once again, you may be asking yourself, why? Why catfish? Well, clearly, sometimes a good old fashioned prank is the best way to get my friend to come to his senses. With a twinkle in me eye and a cheeky grin, I set forth on ruining my best friend's date. I drove around the likely food places that Daniel might take a date. Wendy's, I saw a white Tesla, wasn't Daniel. Went to Kung Fu Tea, another Tesla, no Daniel. Went over to Taco Bell, nothing. And suddenly, look who I get a call from. All right, all right. Now, in order to save my mate Daniel from utter loneliness, I must concoct a plan to be able to ruin this date so I could set him forward on his path to Regina. Lickety split. Who shall be the lovely lass to go on a date with Daniel? Enter Seiko, my fictional sister. A beguiling beauty of sorts who enjoys lovely moonlit walks down by the River Thames. Within no time, Daniel was more than ready to go on a date with his new mate, and thus, my plans were starting to move in the correct direction. But as we get closer, the mission becomes harder. So I needed to consult in someone who is almost as fashionable as I, my dearest friend, Daniela! Hello? Hello, the name is Rolex. Nice to meet you. I need your help. Melvin? What's it's, up? It's Rolex. Oh, Rolex. Uh, okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. She would ultimately be the one to help me craft my final look for the date. Oh, I did fancy my time with her. That was quite enjoyable. We traveled to the local Goodwill in order to source an outfit that would be able to captivate Daniel. But I knew Daniela had the tricks and the knowledge to be able to make me as convincing as possible, even at close range. Daniel, what's up? Uh, how's it going? A date, okay. She, uh, yeah, date, like she's beautif beautiful, right? Okay, some tips. Yeah, I got, I got. If you uh, help me kind of understand the location you're at, I can help give uh, better tips. What kind of, what, what location are you at? 
That park? Yeah. No, have a good date. I'm going to the park now. At the park? Time to do some investigating. It was almost zero hour for the date. And so it happened! I had rendezvoused with Daniel that day. Nervous, excited, thrilled, cold. At a certain point, he wanted to prove to me that there was only platonic friendship between him and Regina. And in order for him to prove it to me, his idea was to introduce me to Regina. How awkward and what a predicament. Regina, being the former master of disguise in our friend group, could ultimately see through my disguise. And so I had to dig deep and really discover the essence of Seiko and finally convince the both of them that they should be together without somehow revealing my true identity as Rolex. And so I did. Appreciate it. I also took the opportunity to go and do a little bit of searching of my own. Well, I don't have a lot of time here. It's a nice bathroom. Regina's secret room. Her closet. A giant piece of evidence in the form of a giant photo of Daniel stashed in Regina's giant closet. And I knew it. At that moment, it was important for Daniel to witness this kind of behavior for himself. And I did. I yelled. I yelled and got the attention and revealed to Daniel that those photos that he had put up in the past are there once again. Oh yes, this is starting to spice up. I'm getting quite heated here in me cozy flat. I can almost do for a cuppa. And after all those shenanigans, Daniel wanted to continue his date with Seiko. And just as I was riding upon my high horse, sitting tall with those golden laurels in my head, I had ran into something that would ultimately change the dynamic of the situation like a split. Now where do I go? Oh, suspicious individual. The Vegas parks. What nice places. Oh. So awkward filming a lady. Let's get back in there. Can't leave them too long. Where would Daniel and Melvin go on a date? Just like a picnic area, probably. Oh, like, ow, oh, God, excuse me. Excuse me. That's the lady. That's the lady I saw. Weird person. I ran into my arch nemesis, Agent Peters. I ran into Dane. I just wanted to say Agent Peters with an accent. That's so funny. Now I wonder why in the world Agent Peters was there at that same park. Truth be told, I don't think he even knew it was me. My disguise as Seiko was so cunning and brilliantly crafted by Daniela that I don't think Dane even realized that that was me. Or so I thought. I think I might see them. That looks like Daniel. Looks like someone I saw earlier. He's with a goth girl. She looks... I swear I saw that girl earlier at the park. Oh. oh Do you no. own any pets? Yeah, I actually have a, a French bulldog named Douglas. Wait, 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 wait. This is exactly a Melvin type move. <laughs> is that Melvin? That is what happened when I bumped into that girl and it was weird. And he's here to ruin Daniel's date. Melvin, it's not up to you. Should I confront them? Should I confront Melvin right now? No, no. I'll send Daniel a few tips first. Because then the date started taking a weird turn. As I continued my time with Daniel, it started to seem like he was getting more and more interested in Seiko in a way that even I was not prepared for. No bloody shot, mate. Agent Peters was intentionally coaching Daniel to have a successful date with this weird woman from the internet. Me! What would be the perfect thing to do on a first date with a girl, right? Maybe here, Daniel, do something cute. Hold her hand, right? Just, yeah. Ask about her moisturizer on her hands. Um. He 
got the text. Why are you on the dating apps and stuff? Well, I just realized uh, I wanted a girlfriend. Yeah, I've been single for so long. And like finding people in real life, I don't know, it's hard. Like where am I gonna meet people? I've been changing my look a lot lately and I'm really into like skincare and stuff now. So I was wondering- Oh really? Like, yeah, like what kind of moisturizer do you use? Can I see like what it feels like and like compare to my own skin? My hands? Yeah. Uh, I just thought maybe it would be a fun thing that, uh, it's, it's fun to talk about skin routines uh, on the date. Yeah, here, okay. I barely, okay, can I feel? I'm ticklish. He started making moves, making advances at me. That was complete opposite of what I intended him to do. The whole point of me mission was to try and prove to Daniel and Regina that they are way more compatible. However, Dane's plan was working opposite. He was giving Daniel the correct riz in order to win my heart over. Didn't really get any answers out of that. Could be Melvin, it is, I know it is, Rolex. Okay, if, if Daniel asks her her hobby, what does Melvin like to do? Sing, singing. Melvin likes to sing, right? Okay, Daniel, do this, do this. Ask her about her hobbies. See if it results in some sort of singing. Oh, geez, sorry, my friend, he just keeps texting. It's okay, you're popular. That's the lifestyle of all YouTubers. No, it's just my friend, He's, he knows I was nervous. For I totally get. What? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know why I didn't ask this before. What are your hobbies? What are you into? What do you do for fun? Uh, I like videos. Videos? Yeah, uh, makeup tutorial and eating ramen. Oh! <laughs> and watching uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, what about you? Oh, you know what? It's okay. I know what you do. Oh yeah? What do I do? I don't know, you play the church organ. <laughs> the church organ? <laughs> look at that, look at that church organ. He's moving towards singing. I know it, watch him. Well, why don't you show me some of your musical talent? Oh my gosh, put me on the spot. You want me to sing? I don't, I don't have any instruments. A kapalka. All right, okay. <clears throat> Seiko, you are so pretty. I think you're cute. Say, Ko. This is. Don't sing to her. Have her sing for you. The best day of my life. Oh, say, Ko, you are so pretty. Oh, say. Oh, say, Ko. I don't know. I, I'm not good at lyrics. It's okay. That was so sweet. <laughs> no one has ever sang me a song before. <laughs> good job, Rolex. You're holding it together. Did you really fool anyone, though? Except you. I can't. That's Melvin. Rolex. 100%. What else could Daniel do? There's only one thing, right? He's gotta go for a kiss. But he can't just jump into it. Let's have Daniel test those dance moves then. All right, Daniel, dance with her a little bit, right? Yeah. And then go for a kiss. And don't be awkward with it. Um. So sometimes you never think about like just, <clears throat> you know, going out with another YouTuber. Sorry, uh, what? What? When Daniel goes for the kiss, Melvin will have to take off the mask and then all will be revealed. Rolex will be no more. Um, Seiko? I know that sounds crazy, but would you, uh, you, you wanna dance with me? Out here in public with no music? I don't know, I just thought it'd be funny. Uh, yeah, sure, let's do it. And then, I guess. And then maybe yeah, during or after, uh, I, never mind. We'll just, we'll, we'll just dance. Okay. 
I don't really know how to dance, so I don't know why I'm a thing to do this, but I guess I just thought it'd be a good idea. Wow. The moonlight. Okay. <laughs> this is a pretty romantic date so far, isn't it? I've had better. What did you take off your mask? We've been here all day. Oh, I, I can... no, I have um, what they call um, the Black Plague. <laughs> don't be so silly. It's, it's super contagious. You don't have to be shy. You don't. You don't have to take that. You don't have to take the mask off. If you don't want to. But I'm just saying, like, that you're beautiful. I saw your Tinder pictures. There's nothing to hide. You don't have to. You really like me? I do. I feel like I've known you forever. He goes in his eyes. No, no, Daniel. No, no, no. Daniel, wait up. Daniel. Hey! Whoa! Daniel, Daniel. Dane, what, what the heck? No! No! Catastrophic failure! Imperceivable! And so, I could no longer keep up the charade. The moment he pulled off my mask, my house of cards doth soon crumble. Somehow, Agent Peters was able to convince Daniel to go and give Seiko a kiss. A kiss right on me lips! Right on me bloody lips! I knew it, look at that. See, I got my camera too, everybody. We all got our cameras out right now. I knew it, Rolex. I mean, I'm not even gonna say Rolex. I'm not even gonna say it right now, Re Mel. Mel it was Seiko. I knew you were up to something. I saw the comments. I saw the comments. You think I didn't see the comments? Melvin! Daniel was nervous about this day. I wonder why. I am here to ruin whatever date you were planning on going on. You shouldn't be going on random dates with strangers on the internet. Everyone on the internet knows who you truly belong with. What are you even talking about, dude? Hashtag Daniel forever, which no. is one word. Yes, but look, look. I understand why you did this. I even agree. We shouldn't force it. I think you guys should do what you want. You do what you're happiest doing, right? I can't believe this. This is insane. I did this for your own good. Why? She's going on dates with other guys. I also ruined that day too, though. It's for a good reason, but it's not healthy, I think. Just, I just, I can't believe it. At Neither can I. Neither all. can I. Well, you should have known that your antics would have got you into a situation like this. Did you read the comments, dude? Literally everyone believes that it should be you and Regina together. I don't even agree with this, and I definitely don't agree on the way you've done it. I can't Agreed. even talk right. I can't even. I don't even know what to say. I might have changed the way I look and dress for this part of my mission, but that doesn't mean that you should change the way you look and how you dress to date somebody. It was so, mine was so different and, and guided by an intervention that is beyond our understanding. I'm doing my due diligence. Hashtag granule forever. When I watched Daniel's video, I was filled with so much guilt and fear. I had known that I had betrayed the trust of a friend. I wasted an entire week of his time in order to try and prove a pointless point that I could have told him in person as Rolex. Unfortunately, I hurt Daniel big time. However, my hopes is that if I am long gone in his circle of friends, the one to replace me would be Regina as a girlfriend. I learned my lesson hard that day. Even Dane let me know about it. Well, and so that is the end of Seiko. And maybe even better yet, the end of Rolex as we know it. I have done the terrible job of ruining two of my friends' dates, back to back. The amount of pure guilt that I feel is unmatched by any other feeling or cuppa I've ever held in my hands. Give this video a subscribe for Rolex, like this video for Seiko, and comment down below for Agent Peters. Rolex, out. I'm going home. I just want Daniel to understand that he needs to be with Regina. I think he does understand it. It's just that 
you gotta let it organically. Like people, you know, they seem like they should be together, but it takes a while. You know, it's like one of those situations. And that was my point today. Which I agree with, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, I saw a comment about like Rolex ruining the date and it all came together and I'm like, I just didn't think you should like sneak in as a character and like ruin a date, I mean is that? The price I'll pay is that this will live on the internet forever. <laughs> well, yeah, and I guess Daniel didn't actually go on a real date. Well, what a weird date, man. It's not weird. It's hashtag Raniel is coming soon. Hashtag W Melvin, outro me.